And here's our stop for the night. The village of Niao Valley. Hope you don't mind the abundance of birds, my friend. This village is famous for them. We'll stop here so that the horses can take a load off and get watered and fed. Here. Take this to the innkeeper at Neo Long Inn. He'll let you stay for the night half the price so long as you and I are out before morning. No real reason. A festival is coming up soon and he wants all the rooms open for the guests planning to stay for the long haul of the festival. The longer the stay, the bigger the pay. You know. Well, why don't you stay? I know you were vague about the important business you have at the temple and the Valley of Peace, but why not enjoy the festival before having to handle business? In case you couldn't tell, there's an overhaul of goods, stands, and bartering. There's also an influx of people. The village is getting ready for the festival and they aren't holding back. They'll pull out all the stops for this. The duty of a samurai trumps having fun. Hmm. Not entirely sure what you mean by that, but it's your business. Although I could have sworn samurai were a Japan thing. Nah, shows what I know, right? <laughs> the festival is still a few days out, so I can make the journey to the valley and have enough time to make it back for the festival. So be sure to get your shut eye. We're leaving before sunrise. I've got business of my own to handle. Just meet me at the village gates at the arranged time. See you in the morning. Breastfish! We catch it, you buy it! Jewelry of the finest cuts. No better anywhere in a hundred miles. Sugar cane, sugar cane and dates, sugar cane dates and pistachios. I've got a bunch of shit and I need a gone. Please buy it. Hey there, welcome to um bird cage and or whatever he wants to call it. The hell are you supposed to be? You ain't like no animal I've ever seen. What do you want? What's with that look? You got something you want to say to me? You ain't never seen a wolf man at desk before? You gonna tell me I should be stealing baby goats and slaughtering cattle? Then what do you want? The hell is that supposed to be? Some sort of voucher? Sorry, kid, we don't take vouchers. Be gone. Don't care what your ride told you, no means no. Either pay up or get the hell out. That's right, keep walking and don't come back. <laughs> that was a close one. Wouldn't have wanted to have to slaughter that poor kid like the rest of your staff here. I don't think your storage room could handle any more fresh meat. <laughs> hey you, weasel. <laughs> Let the boss know we got all the rooms secure. We're good to go here. <laughs> <laughs> How nice of these bird-loving buffoons to supply us with provisions we need for a good siege. It's enough to tide us over for weeks. How generous of them. <laughs> the inn is secure. Good. Time to clip these bastards' wings and cage them! 
Go! <laughs> hey there, bird lovers! How are you doing this fine, fine afternoon? What a warm reception! Allow me to repay your kindness with swift, merciful deaths! Boys, anyone who resists, make their heads roll! Oh no, you don't! Shoot down those birds! No message is getting out of this village. Can't have our plans to raid the festival be cut short because of loose beaks. Don't you know anything, you fool? Peacocks and rich bastards of all kinds come to that festival. The second they arrive, we take what they have and bury them with the rest of these fools. Soon the wolf clan will regain what it lost after Shen disgraced us. <laughs> Already such a nice haul we've amassed. Get it on these wagons and get it to the inn. That's going to be our stronghold. And after we take Niao Valley, the Valley of Peace will be next. The hell do you think you're doing? Get out of the way or be roadkill! The hell is that sword? What the hell? Our wagons! The wheels! They've been sliced to ribbons! How the hell? That sword? That's a katana! No way. Since when did samurai live in China? Huh? What the hell even are you? You don't look like anyone around here. You one of them humans that are popping up? You're here to complete your training to become a samurai. Ha! So you're nothing but a rookie trying to flex on us. <laughs> Big mistake, kid. You're gonna learn real quick that when you piss off the pack, you get their fangs in your neck. Take him out! Should've stayed in your own lane, kid. What the hell just happened? Did he just... No way! How is he doing this? <sighs> Archers! Stop standing there with your quivers up your ass and take him out! The rest of you take what you can carry back to the end and send for more guys! We're going to hold this village as our first stepping stone. We won't lose it to some child with a giant butter knife! Nice try, kid. You can't stop them and fend off a hellfire of arrows. Turn this bastard into a pincushion, boys. <laughs> ha! An arrow to the thigh doesn't feel too good, does it, boy? Go ahead and stay ducked behind that wall as long as you can. Sooner or later, you gotta come out. And when you do, you'll be made into our new banner. What 
the hell? What now? My archers, they're gone. How did the samurai have a friend? Ugh. Show yourself! Huh? Who tapped my shoe? Ah! You, Tigress! Me. <laughs> hey you, you okay over there? Flesh wound, huh? All right, get to safety. I'll handle them. Huh? What are you doing? Wait, what are you? A human? All right, that's it. Now that one of the Dragon Warrior's friends is here, we don't have time to hold back. Kill them both before the rest of the five and the Dragon Warrior show up. You have to get out of here. A samurai doesn't leave a fellow warrior to fight alone. <laughs> a fellow warrior, huh? And a samurai at that. Well, I guess they don't. Make sure you don't slow me down then. That's your line to me. <laughs> you might actually be a warrior after all. Enough banter! Kill them! On your left! Huh. Nice save on my right. I'll go high, you go low! Huh. Yeah. Take one side of this banner! Wrap them up! Hook it up to this wagon and smack the horses! And off their drag. Hmm? The barrels of juice. Got it! the barrels. Some in midair, others just going down the hill. And it's creating a tidal wave. Hmm. Let me give them a boost. Hopefully all that chi training with Poe finally pays off. Center, inner piece, and... Is that all of them? Get down! Huh? Ha! And right back at you. Not amazing, really. Just a simple redirection. Anyone can do it. Uh, whoa! Huh. Nice. Kicking one of their shields up and throwing it like a disc. Sent that guy flying into a much needed bath. I gotta admit, you got some skills for someone so green. It was pretty obvious when you ran out and tried to stop those guys. You didn't really have a plan past stopping that wagon, did you? I wouldn't say it was obvious. More like... You remind me of Poe when he first started out. That panda always bounces into action without thinking, and yet somehow, things always turn out alright. Just like you. Anyway, we need to make sure there aren't any more of them. These... These wolves move in a pretty big pack. The inn? The leader said they were making that their stronghold? Lead the way! Put down the chopsticks and step away from that meal you know you're never going to pay for. And you! How dare you take the premium drinks? Do you know how long it takes them to make that? Sorry, 
when you're with somebody who values food, you tend to take these things a little bit personally. Anyway, enough of this. Time to send these unwanted guests packing. So much for this being a stronghold. It was just a handful of wolves pushing their weight around. Thank you so much, Master Tigress. We feared the worst when the wolves showed up. Even more so when they mentioned fresh meat in our storage room. I'm glad that just meant my staff was tied up. We're glad no one was hurt too. We'll leave the rest of the local guard. You all take care. Gotta admit, I wish this could have been handled with less damage. But this wasn't bad for your first fight. Good job. Again, all the signs of you being a novice are there. But at the very least, you're a novice with great potential. Impulsive, but with the fury to rival a small gang. You don't think things through, but you adapt when an opportunity presents itself. And you obviously ignore when you're wounded when the greater good needs you. You really are reminding me of Poe more and more. Well, no one expected a fat poopy panda to become the dragon warrior, let alone a master like he is. Yet here we are. You're obviously a human from one of those far-off lands. Humans are known to be physically weaker than those like us. Yet despite being a human, you took on wolves and bested them. There's more to you than your appearance. <laughs> you don't have to be shy. I've taken to not judging folks by their appearances. Trust me, I've been proven wrong many times. That reminds me, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Tigris, a master and disciple of Kung Fu of the Jade Palace in the Valley of Peace. It is my pleasure to welcome you to China. It is wonderful to meet you, Samurai, from afar. Truth be told, we don't get many Samurai in China. But history books tell of them journeying here and to other lands to complete their training. Is that why you're here? Well, I'm sorry to tell you that no one is at the Jade Palace like a train you at the moment. The rest of the Furious Five are out completing missions that are sure to take up the rest of the month. Poe is in the middle of training a new Dragon Warrior. And our master and mentor, Shifu, is... Uh, how did he put it? Questioning his sanity at the Pool of Sacred Tears. Who am I talking about? You know, Master Shifu. You know of Master Shifu, but you don't know what I mean by Po, Dragon Warrior, and Five. Well, I... Hmm. I... Don't know how to absorb all of that. I guess not everyone could have heard about us, nor would they need to know about us if it isn't needed. I'll tell you what. We first get that leg of yours looked at. Then, let me treat you to dinner as thanks for all of your help. I can teach you about us and what we stand for here in China. And in exchange, you can teach me more about samurai and what they mean in your homeland. Only if I agree to let you buy me dessert after dinner. How do you know if I like sweets or not? You saw me eyeing the sweet dumplings at the inn on the counter. <laughs> You're observant, too. Alright. Deal. Dinner and dessert. 